Well, a big change in our weather. Yesterday, we're pushing, challenging that 60 degree mark, and then today, yeah, we're lucky if we even just got warmer than freezing past this afternoon hour. That cold front came in, flipped our winds, brought that cold air, and brought some precipitation our way. Right now, we're sitting at 30 degrees here in Springfield. Still have those fast winds out of the north at 17 miles per hour. And, well, today, we started off kind of warm, mid 40s. That's not too bad, especially for that morning hour. Because once the system started to move in, that we got that mixed bag of precip. We got rain, sleet, snow up north, even had some thunder that went with it. And then those temperatures really started to tank and decrease where we're finding ourselves right now, kind of below that freezing mark. Thankfully, the roads have definitely improved from where they were in this afternoon. Not really seeing a whole lot of slick roads in our area. It's places further up north and northeast that are seeing the worst of those conditions. It's really moved out of our area. We just have cloud cover and cold temperatures that we have to deal with for tonight. And we'll be staying cold for Saturday as well. The amount of rain that we came in got a good quarter of an inch here in Springfield. Lake Ozark also saw plenty of rainfall. They also saw some snowflakes that came their way with their system, just a little bit colder, which allowed them to see the snow in places really south of Highway 54 didn't see snow. Here in Springfield, we saw sleet. And areas down south didn't see a whole lot of anything today. Highest totals were really to the northeast of us. Places in St. Louis, I saw reports as high as five inches of snowfall with this same system. I know a lot of people are wishing that they saw five inches down here in the Springfield, but we really haven't seen too much snow this year. Just really been kind of tick and tacked, and the most that we got was what happened on Monday. Big change in the temperatures, though. We're sitting about 20 degrees colder right now than where we were 24 hours earlier. And places ahead of this boundary are still trying to hang on and cling to those temperatures in the 50s and the 60s, those warm February-like temperatures. But they're starting to get some active weather in front of that as well. I've been seeing some severe thunderstorm warnings issued with this same system that moved through our area and all the snow. It's moved across. Now it's no longer a threat in Missouri or Illinois. It's moving out to places like Indiana and don't really have any activity that's going to be coming our way for tonight. Really no activity for Saturday, no activity for Sunday as well. We're going to start shaking the clouds that we do have. It's going to take a while for us to get rid of those clouds, and they'll be gone by about Saturday morning. There will be some that will try to linger around, but really in that late morning, afternoon hour, we're going to get plenty of sunshine. Temperatures are not going to be that much warmer for your Saturday highs. We'll be lucky if some places can hit 40 degrees. I think upper 30s is where I have us forecasted here in Springfield. And taking a step back, yeah, it's hard to find clouds for Saturday. For Sunday, high pressure system is going to allow us to get plenty of sunshine. And then on Sunday, we'll get warmer temperatures that will come with it. Tonight, not going to be warm at all. Most places are going to be around that 20 degree mark. Fast winds out of the north, 10 to 20 miles per hour. So when you factor that in, we're talking about feels like temperatures that will be challenging the single digits. Here in Springfield, I got us yeah, just barely staying out of it. Feels like temperature for us at 7 a.m. going to be around 11 degrees. Some places like Rolla and Clinton can have those single digit feels like temperatures that are going to be coming their way. And tomorrow, yeah, it's going to be staying cold. 37 here in Springfield. Branson, I like your chances to get to 40 degrees, but just barely. It's on Sunday that that warmth is going to start to return. Plenty of sunshine for our Sundays. Temperatures in the 50s coming back and temperatures in the 50s, 60s, even possibility of getting 70s. Once we get into our hump day, that's going to be coming. I know a lot of people are excited. That seven day forecast, it looks good as long as, well, you don't look at what's going to be coming there tomorrow. So stick with me. Cold day Saturday, but great weather is going to be coming right afterwards. It's only one day and the last, next six look really good. Yeah, just cover up that Saturday. It's a great looking seven day. That's right. All right, construction to add an extra